What's going on guys? Welcome to Tmux video tutorial part two. I'm going to cover a really cool Tmux trick in this video that sort of doesn't contextually fit into the first video. This is sharing sessions between multiple users, you know, real life users, not, uh, not computer users, like user accounts. Uh, it's useful for developers that use like a shell based text editor for different sysadmins working together, perhaps on the same problem while on the phone together, uh, or maybe a senior sysadmin and a junior sysadmin, uh, while the senior guys, you know, giving a tour of a system or showing them, showing the junior guy how to troubleshoot a problem. And what it basically is, is, uh, we're replicating this with two windows here on my local machine. So this is just I3, a tiling window manager. And I have two shell sessions here locally. This will be, let's say, a uh, new guy. And this over here will be uh, the senior guy. So they're both from different places going to SSH into the same machine. So this guy SSH is in. And our senior sysadmin, she is also going to SSH in. Now they're both, they both have separate SSH sessions now. I'm using the same local machine, but these are still two separate SSH sessions, two separate processes on the server, etc., etc. Now, if you guys haven't watched the first video yet, you should. It sort of covers the basics of Tmux and why it's useful. But basically, one of the reasons is it allows you to have multiple shells open through a single SSH connection, and it allows you to abstract those shells and keep them from being tied to the SSH session. So you can start a long running process inside of Tmux, close down your SSH session after detaching from that Tmux session, shut down your computer, go somewhere else, and then reattach from a new SSH session later, or someone else can reattach to that session in Tmux. It's just stuff that's either much harder or impossible to do with SSH alone. So in this case, they're both now on this machine. And let's say the senior sysadmin, she wants to create a Tmux session that she shares with the junior guy so that she can sort of show him the ropes. Now, the only thing that's important is that both of these are logged in as the same user. So I'm assuming that there'll be either, you know, root or some other user that all the admins can log in as. So you can see we're Ubuntu and our sysadmin is as well. And I should say this is possible with different users that have a group in common with some finagling, like by specifying a socket file uh, instead of using a default one. I suppose you could just change permissions on the socket file that's created to let any two users share the socket file. So if you just like uh, chmod 777 on whatever socket file you create when you start the session or when you create the session in Tmux, um, I think that should work. Not 100% sure, but anyway, I will link to uh, a tutorial that covers those sort of advanced use cases a little bit more in the description, I guess, or the notes for this video. But I'm just going to show you the simplest case, the most obvious and probably most useful case. So that is two admins logged in as the same user who want to share a shell session. So our senior sysadmin creates a Tmux session. So there's nothing running. You see nothing there. And we'll just do Tmux new session. And we'll call this, this is shared. And that gives us our session. Now our second user, uh, I guess you can say uh, blah. And now we can do tmux list sessions. You can see this is shared is there. So we can just do tmux attach to this is shared. And there you go. We're now attached to the same session from two different SSH connections and two different people who are logged in as the same user. So I write some stuff as the junior admin. You can see it is perfectly coming across to the senior sysadmin over here. So if she opens up, I don't know, some text file, they can both edit this together. Senior and junior. Amazing. Uh, this is a really, we're not going to save this. This is a really cheap way to do things that, you know, collaboration software charges either a lot of money to do or does in a really complicated way. If you just 
SSH into some common server and work there, you can save yourself a whole lot of time and money. So there you go. The commands are very simple. Again, let's detach from this session. So there will be D to detach from the session. I just want to show you one more time. Tmux list sessions. Lists them here. And if I close the last window, Control B W shows windows in the session. If I can, if I close the last pane in the last window, the Tmux session ends and nothing is left. Okay, so again, you just create a session completely normally. And then any other person logged in as that same user can simultaneously attach to that session. So a session, a Tmux session, can be attached to by multiple people processes. I think that's pretty awesome. If you use this, if you think it's useful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more of this stuff. I'll see you in the next video. I'm not sure if I'll do too much more with Tmux. If you've got suggestions of stuff to cover, let me know. I've got a cheat sheet for Tmux commands in the first Tmux video. So that would be the first one in this playlist. And... Yeah, if you've got suggestions, leave them in the comments. I'm happy to do a video covering more of cool Tmux features, but these are the ones that I use the most. Happy hacking.